Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome to this video. It's a very short one, but I definitely wanted to share something with you. I've been doing some, some streaming benchmarks with the new Ryzen CPUs, and I was wondering why does opening OBS actually drop the performance so much? And I found something out in the process that actually benefits iRacing a lot without... You will not lose graphical um, quality or need to change something in your hardware or something. It's just a setting in Windows. And what it is, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So uh, according to the Microsoft blog post, it's actually from June 2020, but I never knew that this has such a big impact on iRacing. I don't know if you knew. Remaining on the cutting edge of hardware innovation has always been a critical aspect of our graphics platform. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling enables more efficient GPU scheduling between applications. You're probably like, okay, cool. That's what I thought. <laughs> what does it actually do? So um, without going into technical detail, because who cares, right? I just show you how to enable it. Uh, you just go to your Windows, type in graphic, graphic setting. And then you will get, if you have a supported GPU, obviously, you will get this option, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Turn it on, reboot your PC. And what that does is you basically get a lot more performance in iRacing. So I've done a few benchmarks. It's always like the same picture. You get like five to 8% more frames per second without sacrificing anything. So for example, if you look at the top two charts, this is uh, Charlotte the TCR. Blue is the average frames per second, so let's say this is 100%, then with the GPU schedule off you get 113.7 frames per second and with the GPU schedule on you get 122.6, so that is a difference of about 8%. And if you look at the 1% percentile or 0.2% percentile FPS, the difference is even... I mean look at that, that is 12.4% difference and 14% difference and I ran many tests on iRacing, so um, this is another example, Monza for example. The, the difference is not that big, so from 100% we go to 105.3%. 100, but it's free performance without changing anything, basically. All you need to do is turn on that settings. Let me know if it works for you as well. Um, I've had, I also tested ACC. The difference is not that big as on iRacing. It's about 2 to 3% faster, but, but again, it's like... It's three frames per second, right? So test it out. Let me know in the comments down below if it works for you, what the difference is for you. The software I'm using to benchmark CapFrameX, I can highly recommend it if you want to do some iRacing benchmarks. But yeah, guys, that's it's already for this video. Hope it helps you. Hope you liked the video. Press the like button, maybe subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye bye.